Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hopefully resolve issues that your Windows search menu or search box is not working properly. So I'm going to do a quick fix that should hopefully resolve most of your guys' issues. So we're going to start by actually right clicking on the start button. And then you want to left click on computer management. So left click on the little drop down arrow next to services and applications. So this little arrow right here. And then left click on services. So now you want to navigate down until you get to the Windows firewall service. So it should be close to the bottom here, assuming you are in ascending order alphabetically and it should be approximately right here so at this point you want to right click on the service and then left click on properties make sure startup type is set to the automatic position if for some reason it's set to manual or the disabled left click on automatic and then left click on apply and OK once you've made sure it's set to automatic and also if the service is stopped you want to left click on start meaning that if it says instead of saying stop the service it says start the service you want to left click on start however since it says stop that's good so now we want to close out of our computer management settings and we want to navigate back over to the start button and at this point we want to right click on it and then left click on command prompt admin so please know you have to have administrative privileges in order to run an elevated command prompt. So left click on yes. So now you want to type in PowerShell, all one word, and then hit enter. Okay, so I have a command that I've already saved to desktop to save myself the pain of typing this into the command prompt window so I will have this in the description of the video so I'm just going to do control V to paste it it's a nice feature in Windows 10 you could also right click on the top bar here and then left click on edit and then paste whichever one you guys prefer but I like to do control V control C it's usually my go to's so once you paste that in hit enter on your keyboard and then just let it run this probably will take, I would say, a good 10 or 15 minutes, depending on your processor speed and, and if there's other underlying issues going on. So just let this run. It will take a little bit of time to run. But once it is done, I will be back. Okay, everyone. So once the green highlighted text is gone, you just close out of the command prompt window and restart your computer, and hopefully everything should be working for you guys. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.